So the easiest way to get a sense for a vector in rectangular coordinates is to start by positioning it at the origin and talking about it as going from the origin at 0, 0 to whatever point AB is trying to get to as its terminal. And if you do that, you end up with a construction something like this. You end up with another right triangle type thing where that magnitude talks about the distance of that radial type measurement and we can look at the components of its movement in terms of a horizontal component A and a vertical component B where, let me actually change that because it should hook over to B not the J, where that should look familiar. Not just because we've seen right triangles a bunch of times, but because that's essentially the same way that we talked about the complex numbers in terms of their real and imagined components. Should make sense, because as I said at the beginning, the idea of vectors, the specific idea of vectors, was built around the idea of the complex numbers. So, it fits that the way we look at vectors in terms of horizontal and vertical things kind of flows in the same way. Where what we're doing here is talking about a linear combination, in particular, of our horizontal and vertical. That is, we can think of any vector, if we want to make it more abstract, as a vector addition, the resultant vector of the horizontal component and its vertical component. Where our magnitude here the length of that vector happens to act in the exact same way that a modulus did. Happens to act exactly the same way as a distance does. That is, our value here for the magnitude of whatever our vector is, v, is just going to be a squared plus b squared, the sum of the vertical and horizontal components squared under a radical, exactly as it's always been. So to understand this a little bit more, we'll take a shot and example. For this example, we want to sketch the vector v equals 3i minus 3j and find its magnitude. So if we want to get the graph for this, it's not a very complicated process. We have a horizontal component A equals 3 and a vertical component B equals negative 3. So if we build around the origin, as we said is our base place to start from, we're going to end up with something like this, going to the point 3, negative 3. And if we want to find the magnitude of that, we want to find out how long that is, it's the same as it basically ever is. The magnitude of our vector v, in this case, is going to be the square root of 3 squared plus negative 3 squared. Or, if you prefer, the square root of 18, which for some reason, if you want to be a little more specific about it, a little bit more careful with your notation, you can pull out a 9, which turns into a 3 times root 2. So you can say that the magnitude here is 3 root 2 if you want to be a little bit cleaner in your notation, but you should recognize here that even though we have some new pieces that we're talking about in new ways, because these are all just adjustments on the same sort of language, we're getting the same kind of values. That a magnitude here for a vector means the same sort of thing as a modulus did for a complex number because they come from the same sort of place. And the next thing we're going to look at here is how we can generalize these ideas because well, we don't always like our vectors to start at the origin. We like to have more options.